when you're throwing a curve ball like that, you don't really have much of a choice but to, to get through it. I think definitely my life and my journey helps me, I guess, get through those stages. But yeah, that you don't really have a choice. You just gotta do as well as you can and have the right support around you. Family, friends, my teammates. I mean, I got onto a, a Zoom with the, the girls before I was mentioned it to anyone else. It's just like a family. What a stop to from Rebecca Stott. Absolutely, good defending from Stott. That's great defending, Rebecca Stott. I come from a family of four boys and me, and we all just played soccer back in the day. So I was just one of the boys and yeah, played football and loved it. I grew up in Papamoa and lived there till I was 11 and then mum and dad went for a holiday and came back and said, yeah, we're moving. And I was like, no, moved to Australia. And then I kind of worked my way through different clubs and working my way up the chain, I guess. I got into QAS, which is Queensland Academy of Sport. And I think that's where I really developed and learned I guess my knowledge of the game. I think when I was probably 15, uh, I was like, actually, I can, I can get somewhere and make something out of this. I was in Australia then. I played for the under 20s, under 17s, and I think I could see that there was a career in it, there was a pathway, and that I can achieve that. I can thank Emma Kete for that. I think she talked to me. I was playing W League at the time, and she was like, you should really like consider playing for the Ferns and I always felt close to New Zealand. Growing up I always went for the All Blacks and I hated Australia. And so I think that opportunity to play for New Zealand came and, and I, I jumped at it. I moved across, back across um, when I was I think 18 or 17. Made it into the Ferns for the 2012 Olympics which was incredible. Choosing the country of your birth, especially New Zealand, there's a, a big connection with it. Obviously my whole family is from New Zealand and it's my heritage. I was so proud to be able to play for New Zealand and put on this shirt. Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> it was kind of scary, but I had been training with some of the girls in New Zealand, so I kind of knew some people, which was nice. You're a young, new player coming into a team that's established and full of senior players that have played for their country numerous times. But yeah, it was cool. It was a professional environment and it gave me a taste of like real intense football. Christy Hill, I think she was a really good influence on me and she always looked out for new players coming in. And then I think the ones around my age, Bowen and then there was Rosie White and Wilkie. Um, so it was good to have like a good group of players that were my age um, at the time. I mean, it, it was scary going into that environment, but it made it a bit, a bit easier. Scoring a goal at the World Cup, scored against China. Ball comes in, people fall down, I volley it, goal, go crazy. I mean, that was definitely the best moment of my Ferns career. Like, I don't know, the feeling was just crazy. Going to Germany as a, I think, 19 year old, was a massive step for me. I went there for two years and I learned a lot about myself and I grew, obviously being in a country where you don't speak English, kind of thrown into the deep end. And um, so that was such a good experience for me. And then obviously going to America and being in the W League, going through all the different countries, embracing their culture. Um, I think it's helped me grow as a person and just have a bit of resilience to go through the hard times, living away from home. It's shaped me, I think, to be the player and person I am now. When you're throwing a curve ball like that, you don't really have much of a choice but to, to get through it. My life and my journey helps me, I guess, get through those stages. But yeah, that you don't really have a choice. You just gotta do as well as you can and have the right support around you. Family, friends, my teammates. I mean, I got onto a, a Zoom with the, the girls before I was mentioned it to anyone else and let them know and it's just like a family. So, I mean, I had such a good support network and I'm so thankful for that. I was going into my appointments with a 
little tote bag and wasn't that comfortable and I was forgetting stuff and so I decided that I could create a, a cancer kind of bag to give to patients and to help them through that stage and so it, it kind of turned into a bit of a blog letting people know about my story and what I'm going through because I found it kind of difficult to, to find that when I was going through that myself. We got some shirts uh, from players and auctioned them off and now we've got these bags and given them out to, to cancer patients. So it's, it's been pretty cool. It's been rewarding for me and it, it really helped me get through my cancer journey. Just a good distraction. It's so helpful to know that someone out there is going through exactly what you're going through and that maybe I have been able to help them and they've been able to help me back. I think there was one massive story where a girl from America was going through it pretty much the exact same time and she showed up to our game in America, um, my first tour back, and, and that was pretty special to see the impact I had had on her and, and she had helped me get through it as well. So it's pretty cool like to have those kind of stories. It was emotional. Um, it was it was a really emotional tour. I didn't expect it to be like that, but um, it was so cool to be back with the girls and just be in the environment and step on the field. It was crazy feeling. New Zealand, what a moment. Rebecca Stott, a year ago, diagnosed with stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's blood cancer to you and me. And here we are, 12 months later. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it was, it was quite moving. got tackled from behind and had to get an ankle reconstruction, my spring ligament. Um, so it's a four month kind of injury and it was a bit delayed. So uh, I think it's six, six months post that now and I've been back on the field. So it's exciting to be back on the field and it was so hard going through that after I just worked so hard to get back and be fit and ready to go. So it was a bit of a kick in the guts, but um, I'm back now and, and it's exciting, it's, it feels good. I don't think my perception of life has really changed that much. Um, I think I have more of an emphasis on enjoying life and just being happy because you never know what's going to happen next day or next year, Yeah, so just enjoying life. Continue being yourself and you'll get through everything that comes at you because what else can you do?